There he is. He's the star. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. What do you want? What are you working on? What do you want to work on today? What do I want to work on? Well, now well, I guess I've I've been playing golf for several years, and I've been pretty much self-taught. Um, I have developed probably what I would consider an uneven swing. I tend to lift up, and working with Matt, um, the emphasis has been really to hit down on the ball rather than try to lift the ball. And impact, yeah. yeah. So the impact being the piece rather than me coming up, coming down. Yeah. And, and the emphasis has been trying to get the lower body into this where I've been all upper arms and upper body. Now, one A thing I stress even with her is um, less thinking. I've been, I've been telling you that for a while now, right. to think less and just, just to play because you're, you're a thinker, note taker. You, like, <laughs> you know, you like to have a million thoughts when you're out there. But today, when, you, when we're playing, it's good to have one thought maybe in your head, mm -hmm. you know, and just, and just play the game. If you have. I mean, do you want to play a competitive thing today or do you want to do what we just talked about? Because I, I can actually have you and Teresa against me I'd play from all the way. I'm hurting today, so I'm injured. Plus, I'll play from all the way back. You guys can play. You can play from the whites. She can play from the reds. And that'll challenge me, and I think you guys could beat me. Let's do it. Okay, let's do all that. All right. All right. Let's do it. Good luck. <laughs> all right. So here we are at Canterbury Woods. Most likely the last, last time we'll be playing this year as it's getting pretty cold. And I got my excuses lined up today as a... Uh, I have what I think is tendonitis in my right elbow, so all these swings are are hurting. My arm's pretty sore. Thought you were injured. And also, we haven't me and Teresa haven't played in a couple weeks, so um, I like to have a few excuses ready to go before we play. <laughs> and it has a pretty good swing for Rick for his uh, first swing of the day. Nice job getting his weight forward and really getting through the ball there. And Teresa also, a nice swing. Again, everybody got off the tee pretty good here for the first swing. So, a uh, uh, good start. Oh, look at that. Is it going to make it? Oh, nice shot. <laughs> good job. <laughs> does that have a slope on it, too? No, it does not oh, have it doesn't. a slope. So, it's 150 without figuring slope. Down, so yeah, it, yeah. Right? yeah, I'd say 145. Yeah, so you really tried you really tried to lift that up on that one. Did I really? Yeah. You'll see it on the video, but I'm yeah. Sure. Look at this. Jeez, you guys are gonna kill me here. Right at it. Good yeah. Oh shh. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's gonna go in the hole. That's look sore. That, look at that curl. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wait, wait. That's like what? That the pin's back, so that's good. Yeah. It's All like, right. <laughs> yeah, look at this shot. Thank you. Teresa, what's that? Yeah, 10 feet. Awesome shot. Thank you. So, if you missed the beginning part, basically it's gonna be me against Rick and Teresa. Rick and Teresa are gonna play a scramble, and they're gonna play against me. I'll be playing from the very back tees, and Rick will be playing from the whites. and. Teresa playing from the Reds. So I got my work cut out for me today. Oh, nice putt. That's a good putt. I need this putt to have the hole, which I will miss. So quickly, one down. We missed videoing my swing on this hole, but I ended up going left. Rick, a nice shot here. He's actually going to be down the left as well. And Teresa's going to use that big slope there that's going to end up rolling down to the fairway. There you go. That's one, that's one way to play it. Nice shot. Oh. So here's a little analysis of, you know, what's been plaguing Rick. And um, as you notice here, you know, during his swing, I just drew a drew a line up there by his spine, so you can tell as he brings the club up to the top of his swing, he's actually leaning in. His weight's on his toes, and his his weight's favoring his back foot as well. You know, so he's really getting into an off balance position here at the top of his swing, 
as he's bringing the club down, you can really see his weight really posting up on that right leg there. And most of his weight, I'd say 80% 80, 80 of his weight's on that back toe. Now go ahead and draw our uh, line where spine angle is at this point. As you can see, it's definitely a lot more forward than it used to be. And as we see him turn through, a lot more weight is falling back on that back foot. So basically, Rick's definitely not leading with his lower body. He's um, he's falling back on his back foot and really just swinging his his upper body around and through using that right leg as a post instead of using the left leg as a post which brings his center of contact well behind the ball which makes it very hard to hit down on it and to make solid contact right now as you can notice I'm drawing a line the ball position a little red arrow there where the ball is that's where you're starting and that green arrow is where he's actually impacting the ground so his his bottom of his arc is well behind that ball and that's due to the fact that he's not leading with his lower he's hanging back on that back foot and turning around that back side so side don't lie your the balls above your feet yeah. so which way is the ball going to have a tendency to go? Right. No, to the left. Yeah, so the ball above your feet, the ball will have a tendency to go left. So you just compensate a little bit and aim a little right. That's drawing in. Oh, that's, gonna, oh, that's a good bounce. Should be just short of the green right there. Trip and putt. And she's just going to make just like a putting stroke. And that loft of that 8 iron will puff the ball up a certain amount. Yeah. See that? That's pretty good. Your direction was a little off. Yeah. Mm. Well, I thought it was going to break. But, but that was really, that was excellent. You landed it just on the green, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, you just make a putting stroke like you normally would. The loft of the club will take care of the lift. Not bad. Good job. Look at this. Oh, nice job. All right, we have the hole. My next swing, this is pretty much what's been plaguing me lately is my transition. My upper body getting too much over and ahead and not hanging back, which causes my ball to go to the right. That was a nice, solid hit. Sounded good. Good job. And Teresa today, she's also struggling a little bit with her with her direction as most of her balls are kind of heading off to the right as well. Make sure your direction's right in between the trees because you don't want to have a ball come back at you. No. No pressure. Well. Well, you got it between. Oh. You just didn't hit it solid. Okay. Yeah, so your swing was timid though. You were like yeah. afraid to swing. Right, I didn't want the ball to come hit me in the face because <laughs> of what you said. Don't uh. say that stuff. <laughs> Forget about what I said, Rick. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Ball back in your stance. <laughs> well, there's two in the head. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you guys made a bad choice of balls, I think. Maybe we did. <laughs> <laughs> and it's up there. Nice job. On the green. Do some practice swings for a second. Oh. Don't um don't b break your wrists and do a do a bigger swing, shoulder to shoulder. See how that motion that I tried to teach you there? Yeah. yeah. Clean your club face, and that should be far enough. Okay. Shoulder to shoulder, and um, trust it. Get up. You see how she used her wrists? Yeah. And she kind of flew at it? So that's where she had that. If she did her practice swings over the ball like she did, it would have been, it would have been good. Nice. Oh, get in there. Oh, <laughs> I give you that one. <laughs> nice putt. Come on, come on. No, good try. This putt here is to have the hole 
and today I'm just not gauging the speed on these greens. So that puts me down to smooth like like do a practice. Like that could be a lot smoother. Just swing it up. Good. Increase your tempo a little bit in the backswing. A little faster now in the backswing. That's yeah, that's better. That's better. Yep. You know you took a divot there, but that's that's better rhythm with the club. Good. Oh, yep. Nice. Nice hit. Good job. Right yep. Good job. Yep. Good job. Don't go. Get over that. Oh, nice. Look at that. Nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yep. Thank you. On the green. Nice. Isn't it? Nice shot. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the green with this, but my distance has been off today. And it's put, giving me a lot of these long putts, and I'm not reading these greens, engaging the speed very accurately as this just blows by it, and giving me another three putt opportunity. And trees are not bad. Par. Nice job. <laughs> well yeah. Once again, I have a par putt to have the hole. Oh. And I'll uh, lose another one. It's a shorter par four, so I went ahead and um, teed off with a five iron here. Just again, because my longer clubs are a little, little wild today. Nice job. This was an awkward shot, ball above my feet. As you can see me standing well away from it, so I'm aiming way to the right here. It'll have a tendency to go left, yeah. That's going to be a good shot. That is really good. Nice shot. Nice. See, I hit the green, but I'm another mile away from the hole. So another tough lag putt for me here. Too soft. Good dash. This is another long putt to save par, and I just can't. I'm just not making them today. I actually feel like my stroke is good. I'm just not reading the speed and reading the greens correctly. Oof. Be a hero once more. This putt is to win the hole. Ah, almost. All right, you got it. You're good. Oh, great job. Wow. Awesome. Just when I thought I might win a hole, Rick makes an awesome shot in here. Looks like about eight feet. Good there. Oh, nice try. That's no gimme either. No. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the pressure is on. Ouch. I need to make this putt to have the hole. I'm getting excited. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, 
Oof. Oh. I won't, hey, thank you guys. I won a hole. Wow, that was a gift. This is one of the the downsides of not wearing spikes. I actually slipped right there. I was fortunate enough to hit a really good shot just in the left side of the fairway. Nice hit, Rick. Nice hit. Get up there. Oh, look at this. Just short, but good shot. Yep. Up. <laughs> Again, hands close to the body. Use your shoulders. I have Teresa chipping here with an 8 iron, yeah. which she's been trying to do more of when she's close yeah. to the green. And Rick, typically, this is a typical uh, player here, just grabs the nice sand job. wedge yeah. or pitching wedge. Especially when you're in a cart and you just don't want to walk all the way back to the cart and change clubs. Definitely more beneficial to use a less lofty club like a 7, 8, or 9 for more consistency. Good shot. Ah, uh, too low. And this part here gave me a chance to win a hole. But uh, again, just not gonna do it. So another half hole. Hold it. Now see how you set up, and now you're getting further and further away from the ball. Your weight's on your toes right now, so you, that's where you're hitting it off the off the toe of the club. So. Redo that whole routine. Okay. Remember, when you lower down, that's the distance you want to be, and you're good. Okay? And then just get comfortable. Good Great. job. Good Big, shot. Nice. Bounce left. That's going to roll down. Oh, that's going to be good. Should be just... Oh, look yeah. at that. <laughs> nice job. <Thank> you. <laughs> That worked out, but it was, uh, yeah. Hey, well, uh, uh, hit the pin. So I'm going to fail to get up and down again and uh, bogey the hole and lose the hole. Down three. So here I got a little analysis of Rick on the face-on view using his driver. You notice I put a kind of a line in his ball position. At this point right here, I would recommend for Rick to turn his shoulders a little more closed, or in this fact, it'd actually be more squared and get his head more behind the ball. If you notice my green line and green kind of head position here, that's where it should be at this point. And you notice in his swing, he'll actually shift everything back there. Okay, so so I recommend him setting up there to avoid having to actually shift everything back and create that movement to get into that position. But as far as um, it goes through here, I'm, I'm really liking this from Rick because he's coming down right there. His weight's on his left foot. He's posting on that left side. His head's staying back, and he's extending those arms through the uh, through the impact zone. That looks pretty good from Rick. As you can see today, Teresa's is really struggling. She's having uh, directional problems and she's um, topping a lot. She has a lot going on in her head right now and uh, it's kind of hard to break that when you're in that nice frame of mind. Move stuff you can, but you don't want to move the ball. So you move what you can to get yourself a clear shot. You see what I mean? Yeah. And you try to... Take it clean, yeah. You know, without moving it. 
Yeah, it goes, you know, you can see. But you can get behind the ball pretty good, you know, so you make some room here. You see what I mean? Get up. To maximize your ability to hit it solid, you try to put the ball a little more back in your stance for the shot. And just, um, yep, and just stay down through it. Oh, got it out there. So Rick ended up getting it out there. Just um, just left the tree, but it did go to the right, but he's on the fairway. And he makes a decent shot up here onto the green. And Teresa, her stroke really looks good. This little pitching stroke that she's got, the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder type of motion. That looked very good there. And um, really nice, nice contact, just uh, not enough club. I actually think it's going to break like two feet at least to the right. <laughs> this is a must make for them as I'm on the green about 15 feet, 20 feet for birdie. So this is a, a par for them. So they'll end up bogey in the hole here with a nice putt. Good job. Nice. And I'll win the hole. I can two putt to win here. So I'll take it. And he wins a good one here. <laughs> yeah, nice practice. That was a good practice. Yeah, it was a good yeah. practice swing. You didn't hold back on that practice either. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's all right. Rolling down the hill. You got out of there. Again, you're mentally falling apart. Stop, stop, relax. Your body's all. Yeah, just. It's nice and smooth. That was better. Good. That's playable. Good. <laughs> So do that shoulder and shoulder, shoulder, shoulder thing. There you go. I have it doing the shoulder, shoulder thing with a nine. Nine iron. Yeah. So basically, no wrist, just kind no of wrist. turning back to shoulder height and back to. Look at that. Nice job. So my third shot, I ended up over here and I'm putting for birdie. And again, this looks pretty uphill when the ball just doesn't want to stop rolling. Oh, nice putt. Look at that. Slow down. Too soft. Wow. So this is a par putt for them and Rick's gonna make a nice stroke here and drain the awesome job. drain it in which leaves <laughs> me yet another putt here to have the hole another par putt and I, once again I felt like I actually hit it where I wanted to I just didn't read it right so I lost again on another three putt this was 195 yards downhill I chose to use a seven iron and I thought if I hit it good, I could actually hit it on that front portion of the green. And I was just short. Uh, just about a foot short. Yeah, it's good. 
You're, that's an easy uh, little up and down from there. That's a good shot. There you go. Oh, I like it. Oh, look at that. On the nice green. shot. Green. Oh, nice yay. shot. Well done. Thank you. So, as it's getting dark, so we've decided that this is going to be our last hole. And to finish up here, and um, we're going to end up having the hole. And Rick and Teresa are going to beat me today with a three up score. As we'll see here, Rick just going to finalize it here with another nice putt to finish off the good hole. Good job. Yeah, so good. It was fun. Thanks. This worked out for me as well because, again, you to have the instructor with you to see the stuff you're doing, nobody else would pick up on that. If they did, they wouldn't tell you. Hmm. And you don't see it. You really hmm. don't. You think you're doing it right. And you see it on video, but also having someone say, you know, there you go again. Hmm. Very helpful. So what, what helped today? Like, um, well, I mean, the lifting, I mean, again, with me, I tend to lift. I have huh? that problem with pulling up. And I know that by staying down in that drill where I'm hammering down on the ball, like the nail, yeah. that type of thinking, it allows me at least to think that I can come down on it, and I've seen the results when I do, yeah. so the confidence level is building as well, so I can work on that more and more. Right, Good. so thank you for being on Tea Time with the Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're <welcome. laughs> it was fun it was playing. Great. Yeah.